In Khalakhali Photography Episode 5, I emphasize the need for serious attention to protect the Khalakhali line or Pantera Liu within the Khalakhali Trans Frontier area. And as a support interview to the cause of the program, listen to what Saro van der Merwe, the chairman of the World uh, Work Group on, on Lion, has to say about some of the problems that the Lions face. Well, I was, uh, I've been involved in lion conservation uh, quite intensively for the past about 19 years. I was the initiator and founder member of the African Lion Working Group, which is uh, uh, associated with the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN. And at the moment, we are some 109 uh, lion specialists who actually work with lion conservation uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Now through the 19 years the one thing that was very prominent always in my mind and today still is and that is also with, prominent in the mind of anyone who knows anything about conservation uh, of lions and that is the conflict that uh, that exists and that all, always uh, develops where humans and lions meet and that is usually in a grazing area. Um, the natural habitat of lions are being destroyed simply because livestock is squeezing out the natural prey of, of, uh, of, of the lion. And in many cases, the lions have no other choice than to turn to livestock uh, f uh, for their existence. And uh, all depending on uh, what kind of person the livestock owner is, uh, you will find that some of them are very cooperative. They would like to work with you and see whether you can find solutions to manage the problem. Some of them just simply say, look, man, a lion is vermin. It kills my, my livestock and I, I, I will shoot it uh, inside. That's it. At the moment when I see it, I will kill it. Now, that, that leaves a massive problem for all of us. For the simple reason is that we have to protect the lion. The lion is at the top of the of the of the food chain. Uh, it it is it is an incredibly important animal uh, for the Kalahari, for instance. Uh, if we take the lion away uh, from the Kalahari, all of a sudden, uh, what is going to control the numbers of 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 the large uh, 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 prey animals such as your blue wildebeest and such as eland and so forth. Now, the human lion conflict does not favor lions. That, that is for certain. We have here in the Kalahari, and I'm specifically referring now to the Kalahari Transfrontier Park and the areas adjoining uh, this massive park, which is... Uh, 7.3 million hectare when the wildlife management areas around it is included. Uh, all around it, on both sides, it's, it's actually uh, encircled by, by farmers. So wherever any lion goes, that lion is going to become a conflict animal, uh, I would say, 70 to 80 percent for certain so <laughs> you know what happens is that let me give you an example lions have cubs they grow up some of them are males some of them are females at about 20 22 months the males are being kicked out of the pride so now they have to look after themselves but the kalahari does not have a high uh, carrying capacity so in other words these poor young guys are not going to bump into prey every five minutes. They will have to look for them. And just yesterday, before Dad kicked them out, uh, they were so used to that, uh, to the fact that that the prey had been killed for them, that now all, all of a sudden they must now kill for themselves. And many of them, we lose many of them, uh, uh, owing to starvation because for this, for the simple reason is that they don't know how to kill. But there's another ugly thing that rises its head yeah, and uh, that is the, the human factor as far as, as lines are concerned. People just simply 
don't care about the future of the lion. We have a number of roughly about 400 lions in this whole 7.3 million hectare area. I'm, I'm, I'm referring to the 7.3 million and not the 3.6 million of which the park actually is because they are lions in the wildlife management areas all around. The Khalakhari district number 15, number 12 and so forth, all of them are included in lion range. And livestock is not supposed to go into those wildlife uh, management areas but they do go and what happens is that the livestock farmer when uh, of his livestock is being killed he just simply goes out and he kills a lion some of them will kill a lion irrespective of whether it's a it's a it's a problem animal or not when he sees a lion he just simply kills them i i know of one example for instance where where uh, one of the foremen of one of the farmers uh, he rides on his horse and when he sees a lion, he just simply kills it. So if a lion comes on that farm, it's going to be killed. Now something very, very interesting happened. And we do not know for 100% certain that this is the case. But a very recent study found that uh, all births in the park is is male biased. In other words, most of the cubs that are being born are males. And the question arises, what is this? Because usually for every, let's say, three females, you're going to have one male cub. Now all of a sudden you have three male cubs and one female. Just an example, not exact, exact figures. That means that more and more of those young lions grow up, they are being kicked out and the problem as far as the, as, as the livestock owners are concerned, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. But that's not all. There's also greed, which is behind this whole thing. And that is people who actually go out to make money out of the lions. In other words, they kill the lions so that they can pocket money out of the, of, of the fact that they're killing lions. And uh, let me give you an example. From Tabong, which is more or less in the middle of, of the area that, that we are talking about, there is very good uh, cell phone uh, reception. So, uh, 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 livestock herder there can phone somebody in, let's say, uh, somewhere in Northern Cape, let's say Kuruman, for instance, and say, listen, we found a female with small cubs on our farm and we would like you to come and kill her. Now, what he does is he comes out and he kills the female buries her and smuggles the cub, cubs over, over the Malapur River uh, at McCarthy's Rest or in that area and they go for the canned lion industry.